Because you know what you'll do? You'll build it up and it will come out in a different emotion. And mostly in men, it comes out as rage. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, guys. It's very, very, very normal, yeah, as men, yeah, because of our testosterone, yeah, to feel anger as an emotion. But it doesn't need to come out. I have the gym for that. I have boxing for that. Real masculine men can control. They can control their rage. Men that can't control their work, their rage, yeah, are very feminine. It's not a masculine thing, yeah, for man to run around smashing people up. It's not, bruv. Only on certain occasions, yeah. Where if a man's going around trying to conquer a village or something like that, that's completely different. We don't live in them times no more. Masculine brothers don't run around just punching people up. More time, the real bad man don't need to say nothing. Man just walk in a room and people don't want smoke, so they don't end up fighting in the first place. They, they, they don't want smoke. One of the big cornerstones of, of uh, being a man versus being a woman is emotional control. Because look, at, I'll tell you this. Emotional control is, Here it is. healthy, but that means so knowing is. when to control, yeah, so that means, when to be emotional. So that, means, that doesn't mean don't feel your emotions. Yeah, go ahead and feel them, but feel them by yourself or with one of your guys that you could trust. Not with a woman, because women don't are not receptive to emotionally available but men. But you say that, but look at how many that. men, right, are in relationships. Yeah. When they're having a bad day, yeah. who are they going to go to to make their day better? The gym. That's who I go to to make my day better when I have a bad day. What about you guys? That woman. No, I, I would talk to my guys. Okay, women well, don't the, have I don't think solutions. you like women. No, I do. You don't like women I, because I, any man, they will go home to their woman. Their woman will make them feel better. If they're feeling down. They're going to go to their woman because women are no. emotional. We're nurturers. We're carers. We're going yeah, to but, make you feel better but they naturally. Can't help you. He's been so damaged. Bro, I'll be real, yeah? If I'm not feeling good and I'm going to a woman to make me feel better, it's because I need food and I need my balls emptied. That's how, that, that's how you can make me feel better. Because I don't want to talk to you about what's going on, bro. Man, them don't want to talk about their feelings, bro. There's a reason why, yeah? Counseling don't really work for men because men don't like to talk about feelings, bro. They don't because talking about feelings doesn't help us unless you can help us solve the problem because we're dedu we're deductive problem solvers talking for the sake of talking does not help if i'm stressed and i know the reason why i'm stressed and i know how to deal with it which is most of the time if i am stressed i don't get stressed often often but if i am stressed or if something is stressing me subconsciously because I know I've got a lot of things to do, talking about it doesn't help. You know what helps getting rid of stress? Dealing with what needs to get dealt with. So why the fuck do I need to talk to no girl about what I need to do? But if you want to make me some food and help me bust a nut, then yes, you can be extremely useful. Other than that, there's nothing to talk about at all. crazy they can't help you. what's a man gonna do well that's a good question yeah we because deal with the same can struggles help you with everything no, they, what's, no, they the, can't. what's your boys gonna do remember what i said women live life on easy mode see i build upon myself women live life on easy mode which means they have a different experience than men do they have there's no per burden performance women are born with value men must earn their value so what the hell do i look like telling a woman my problems that she doesn't have any idea of she can't even yep. fathom because she's a female, she can't give me any real solutions. The difference between men and women is this. When I have problems and I go to someone, I want solutions. Women, you guys just want someone to hear you guys they just out. Want to That's why you guys can come to us with your problems and be like, oh, I feel this way, blah, blah, blah. You guys don't want solutions. You just want to be heard. Cool. Yep. Us, I mean, we have problems. on the problem. Yeah, but most of the time, they just want to be heard. With yep. men, we want solutions. Men are deductive problem solvers. That's why you see the fantastic wall in front of you that we have here. We have a very powerful mind. There you go. There you go. And she's talking about having a powerful mind. Drop me out. Listen, he's spitting facts. And that's why, mandem, you know what's crazy, yeah? And all of you can relate to me on this because no man is exempt from this. You see, whenever you you might be having issues with a gal or a gal's pissing you off, pick any of your friends 
and you go chat to the man them and they can tell you a time if not if they're not going through it at the time where they're going through the exact same thing you can't have that conversation with a woman because a woman's only going to see it from their side at all times and because the way that they see life is completely different to the way we experience life when we're going through things they are useless to help us useless and this is this is what it is the stress that you might be going through say with work or something they can't even fathom how much pressure you feel as a man because the pressure as a man to deliver is not the same as a woman like the example i i gave you guys earlier with the single mum that's struggling to feed her children there's a lot of honor in that oh mum did everything she could and that but we never had enough when it's the single dad right your broke ass dad what do you mean he couldn't afford to look after you bruv get another job work harder bro the same leeway is not men don't get that the same excuses the same acceptance for failure is not there for men. Men are not allowed to underachieve. It's not cute when men don't have enough money to feed their family. It's not cute, bruv. When women don't have enough money, it's like, oh, she, we really struggled, but she did the best she could. Man them don't have, they don't have that leeway. The platform is not there for men to fail, bro. We get shamed when we fail. We make excuses for women when they fail. That's the difference. So why would I, when I need someone to confide in, why would I confide on someone whose reality is completely different to mine and doesn't understand the pressures that I face? It makes no sense. But if you want to make me some food, if you want to make man a curry goat and empty my, empty my bowls, then we can have a conversation about that. Because that would make me feel better. Even if it's only for a little 40 minutes or so. Like, bro, I could do with a good 40 minutes. You get me and some food. I could do with that. And the right woman is very Oh, going back to what I was saying. Yeah, they suck at everything, right? Oh, my goodness. So since I know that women suck at everything, right? <laughs> since I know that they suck at everything, I understand that the burning performance is on me. I got to protect. I got to provide. And her job is to be pretty and be there. Like, she don't got to worry about nothing. Yeah. And that's how women want it. That, that's the, that's the, how we want it. But that's not because we suck. That's because we haven't got any good qualities to offer. That's just because that's naturally what we would, would require from a man. And naturally, so you naturally... Yeah, because naturally, that's what you want it, bruv. What are you doing? So she's admitting that the way that they're living right now doesn't come naturally to them because they're trying to live in their masculine. They're trying to be men. She just admitted that naturally what they have a proclivity to do they're not doing she just admitted that man have to bring that back maybe that we have here we have a very powerful mind and the right woman is very oh going back to what i was saying yeah they suck at everything right oh my goodness so since i know that women suck at everything right <laughs> since i know that they suck at everything i understand that the burden of performance is on me i got to protect i got to provide and her job is to be pretty and be there like, she don't got to worry about nothing. And that's how women want it. That, that's yep. the, the, that's how we want it. But that's not because we suck. That's because we haven't got any good qualities to offer. That's just because that's naturally what we would, would require from a man. And naturally, so you naturally suck. No, I don't Thank you for proving my point. Men actually suck. Like, if we really deep it, men suck. Majority do suck. You all suck. Yeah. You all so she just admitted that she wants a man to look after her, provide, do all of these things. Because they're better at it than her, but then in the same breath said that men suck. So if we suck and you're worse than us, then what are you? What does that make you? This is the most immature argument I've ever seen. She's not even holding her own. She's drowning. And she's arguing for the sake of arguing. And that's a very, that's not, that's not very endearing. And that's a very masculine thing. When you're just combative and you just want to argue. Is a very masculine thing, bro. It's crazy. You all, are, you all suck because even the high value men, you've got sucky mentalities, yeah, where you think you can go and fuck everyone now hold on, hold because on. you've got money. They, well, they have, bro. Look, look, but now she's saying, Oh, you men think you can go and fuck everyone because you got money. Like, bruv, this is what happens, yeah. You know what? 
You see the man, you see when we have debates, yeah, guys, like even in football shows and stuff like that, you know how I know I've won when men start changing the subject and going somewhere else. Don't ever do that around me. Don't ever do that around me. Because as soon as I say something and you take it somewhere else, that's you admitting that you can't beat me here, so you want to take it somewhere else. You know, like that. And this is exact, this is exactly what it is. She started saying, oh, you man suck and you want to fuck loads of women. Oh, we weren't talking about that. Let's get back on topic, please. Let's get right back there, please. Yeah, so you ability. suck. No, no, no. They can't earn, earn the right to cheat. You suck, okay? Yeah, you have to earn women, right we to are do. loyal. We're naturally more loyal. We're naturally more caring. Disagree. You have a bad experience with women. Women are natu- actually... Terrible. I actually Women are sorry actually for you. less loyal. Yeah. Because women... And here's the thing. I think you need a good cry. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I think women have really hurt you here's and you thing. need to cry. Oh, of course. Women can't be... Look at how she's shaming. She's trying to shame, man. You need to cry. Loyal from a biological standpoint, guys, because it's in their nature to seek the best. So if you're going to go ahead and seek the best all the time, it's in your nature to not be loyal. Women can't be loyal facts biologically because for them to be loyal, that means that they're going to stick with a guy even when he's at his worst. And women do that, yeah. They do, but they lose attraction and respect for that guy. Not necessarily. It depends. Mandem, how many athletes' wives leave, um, leave them when they retire? The most, the vast majority of them, they leave. As soon as the money's not coming in no more and we're not going to the parties and we ain't got the lifestyle, these gal file for divorce. That's what they do. There's too many stories. There's too many stories of man's wives leaving them here when the money dries up. There's too many. There's too many. So this fallacy that women are more loyal than men, they're not more loyal than men. They're not at all. Men are men are loyal to a fault, bro. To a fault, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? But men and women show their loyalty in different ways. Like, man them are so loyal, yeah, that man them will end up riding a bird in prison, yeah, because the man them got in a scuff and man just backed it for no reason. I didn't even know what was going on. I just ran outside, saw the man them fighting, and then I was fighting. But that's what we do. With women, if women come out of toilet in a nightclub and they see their girls fighting, they're asking man why man are fighting and they're trying to break up the fight. Man, them are just jumping in and fighting. This is what we do. This is what we do. You man saw me, yeah, put DT in a headlock, yeah, to back, to back up that pagan. And I never thought twice about doing it. And he ain't, he wasn't even my brethren like that. He wasn't even my brethren like that. I probably met that brother maybe three or four times in person in my whole life. And I still, and I still clamped up her brother to back it because we was on the same team. Because that's what man do naturally, yeah? If it goes off, it goes off. If it goes off, it goes off. Man them are loyal to a fault like that. And also, man them bond with women in a different way to where women bond with us, bro. And that's why certain man here, yeah, you don't want to be dating certain man's baby mom. Because even if he don't want her, he don't want you to have her. He'll feel like he owes her forever, blood. Because he's like, that's my woman. She had my youth. So now no one else can't be with her, bro. Man them's thing is different. Man them's thing is different. When a man's loyal, man are loyal on a next thing. Like, man man will catch your body for you. Y'all are not loyal like that. They're not. Their loyalty is not the same. You know, like that. Most girls are, are loyal until they get a better option. Most of the time when man cheat on their girl, they're not cheating on their girl to leave, you know. They just want a new thing to beat, bro. When a girl's cheating on her man, it's because she's thinking about leaving him. It's not the same. Man, them need to understand. Like Myron said, yeah, the reason why women are way more selective is because before birth control, yeah, and all these other things, a woman understood that if I have a child with this brother, he has to be able to protect me because I'm mad vulnerable when I'm pregnant and I can't look after myself. And also, 
He needs to have good genetics because I need to pass on some good genetics to my child. So women are looking for tall, strong guys with good genetics and also guys with the ability to provide. And if a guy comes along that has all of those things, they're prepared to leave you, bruv. Because, bro, they can only hold the one baby in their belly at, at a one time. So a lot of these women couldn't afford to fuck around and get pregnant for the wrong guy. Because it would mean that we got no money, no protection, and I've got an extra mouth to feed. It don't make no sense. So these girls are way more likely to leave you if they get a better offer. Way more likely to leave you if they get a better offer. Men are less likely to leave their gal for what they perceive as a better offer. Because we're happy to just take take, take 70% and just chill. As long as she don't piss man off, you find her cute, you know what I'm saying? And she makes you a little food, bro. Man, I stay there, bro. Man, I stay there with your 4 out of 10, bro. And you'll be lipsing her up like she's a 10 out of 10, bro. Man, them are happy. <laughs> this is just what it is, bro. Listen, man, them st standards ain't as high. ...on what he's doing whilst he's down and out. If my husband or a partner or whatever was down and out, but I can see that he's trying, he's trying to build up, his mentality is still strong... I will push you. I will build you. I will. I will help you grow. Yeah, I will how give long you, will you do everything that? until you, he gets to where he needs to be. There's a time clock on that. The, the, yeah. the point is, is that well, I'm not going to wait 50 years, am I? Okay. I'm... Yeah. How long are you really going to wait, man? She's not sticking around, guys. There's always a shot clock once you stop paying the bills. He is a serious overthinker. Well, he's not a serious overthinker. This is the same woman, yeah, that said that men suck. So if you think men suck, why are you going to stay around with me while I'm bumming about? Why are you going to do that? And you know how women tell on themselves, yeah? Women say that they don't care about money and I'll be there through thick and thin, but then they always say, yeah, as long as he's got ambition or as long as he's trying. That means you can't be broke for too long, bro. Try harder. You know, that's, that's what it means. You're only allowed to be broke for a little bit. And this is why when the man then retire from football, the wives wait around for a little while, but bro, if you don't get that Sky job in the next six months, next year, the man's asking you, so why, what are you doing here? Like, what's going on? Like, what's what's the deal? Your wife's going to be nagging you all the time. So yeah, so where's the money coming from? Because the bills don't stop coming, bro. And then all of a sudden, oh, we just grew apart, bro. Listen, when you're broke, blood, that's the quickest way to grow apart from a thing, bro. Just have no money. Have no money. Trust me. Y'all are not going to be with you, yeah? For too long. Once shit goes sideways, bro. It's not in their nature, bro. And I don't blame them for it. Because like I said, biologically, yeah? They were reliant on men for survival. You need to understand, yeah? That as quick as technology and civilization, yeah? As fast as it's developed and as short amount of time as it's been here, yeah? We are still programmed the same way our ancestors were programmed. The hunter-gatherers, bro. That's how we're still programmed. We're still programmed that way. So because of that, women still want the same things, even though it's not logical. It's not logical for a woman to want a man that makes three times the amount of money she makes. Because if she makes the same as him and both of them put their money together, there's a decent enough money for them both to live. But that will never be enough for women. It's not logical. It's biological. So because of that, they're going to want a guy that makes 150k a year, yeah? When they make 50k a year. But really, if they both made 75 grand a year, it's still 150 grand. But they don't want that. Women naturally cannot be loyal. They can't. From, a, this, from a biological standpoint, they're loyal to the best man that they can get only. But oh, once no. that man is not able to provide security anymore, she loses interest, loses res she loses respect first. Yep. Then she loses interest. Next thing you know, she's not fucking you. She's not sucking you no more. But if you flip it, my girl loses her job, etc. I'm okay. not gonna- But that's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. You know why it's not the same thing? Because men and women are different. Imagine if you're with your gal yeah, and she loses her job. You're going to be like, oh, shit, my girl lost her job. If you lose your job, she'll be like, oh, this bummy ass moth. You get me? Man ain't got a job. My boyfriend's unemployed. You know, like that.
Man, they ain't going to go around telling people, oh, my girl's unemployed. <laughs> Bruv, man won't do that. Y'all will be telling all their friends, yo, Rance lost his job. Yo, bro, that's what girls do. Bruv, they'll be like, oh, bruv, you know, like, it's kind of stressful at home, you know. Like, Rance lost his job, you know. Because that's what girls do. Bruv, man, them, if you lose your job, it's peak. Bro, they'll be out here telling everyone you lost your job, you know. Bruv, man, them ain't going to be in the group chat to the man them saying, oh, you know what, my girl lost her job, you know. Nah, nah, nah. What are you talking about? She's absolutely waffling, bro. The reason why it's not the same is because the same expectation is not placed on both genders because we're not equal. Because we said women and men want different things, but if a woman got fat, now you're going to lose respect for her. So it's on the same spectrum. It's just well, a different so Now she's moving the goalpost again, bruv. You know what I mean? Obviously, she can't move the goalpost by herself because she's too weak. You know them ones there, but here's what it is. Man, love them woman jokes still. Respect of your relationship. Yeah, but men rarely leave women. Men are actually the more loyal ones, by far. Because here's the problem. You're conflating. This is, this is where the, I, I see where the, the, int, the issue is. Your definition of loyalty, you're attributing it to both genders if it's the same. Yeah. And the reality is it's not. Your job as a woman is to be loyal sexually through sexual fidelity. My job is to be loyal to you by protecting and providing for you. And sexually. No. Yeah. No. No. It's not the same. It's not the same, man, then. You know, like that. It's not the same. And, it, and, and bro, like I said the same thing. There's a reason why we got post-nut clarity, bro. And women don't have post-nut clarity. Because when we're beaten, it's more of an animalistic thing, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's a means to an end. It's a business transaction. With women, it's not like that. Do you know what I'm saying? More times, yeah, after you chop, yeah. If, bruv, if you're with a woman and you beat, yeah, and then you just put on your clothes and left... They would feel some type of way, bro. They would feel some type of way, bro. If I just beat, yeah, and a gal literally got her shit together and left, I would I would be happy. I'll be real. You know, <laughs> I'll be happy. Man, them know what the post not clarity thing is. After you nut, yeah, she can go about her business. It's fine. You know, like that. After you not, gal want you to stay there, chat to them, cuddle, all of that. They want that. They want that. Because naturally, it's, it doesn't mean the same thing. It doesn't mean the same thing for us. Like, gal, a lot of the time, yeah, want to have sex with you because they want to feel closer to you. Man them, we just want to beat because we want to beat, bro. That's what it is, bro. If a gal was just mashing, yeah, going bathroom, Whatever, put on her clothes and left. Man, they must not say, no, don't go. Bro, listen, I got what I needed. I'm going to sleep now. You can leave, innit? Let me know when you get home. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> Bro. No, because a woman's main commodity is her sexuality. A man's main commodity is not his sexuality. It's his ability to provide security. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you stay loyal. Matter? Because you have to say a relationship is two people coming together and agreeing to be with each other, yeah? You going to have sex with someone else, you're not based, you're not in a relationship. But what are you talking about? People always like to they like to rom over romanticize relationships. Relationships, yeah, are are still business agreements. Relationships are I'm gonna do this for you. If you do this for me. And as long as you do this for me, I'm going to continue to do this for you. That's what a relationship is, relationship is. And to a certain extent, a marriage is that as well. Is that as well. It's a business thing, bro. There's nothing... People are over-romanticizing, yeah? What relationships are and what marriages are, bro. That's exactly what they are. So at the end of the day, yeah? Men and women show loyalty in different ways. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these gal, yeah, for instance, because they needed protection from men, they were like, cool, I'm going to give you the pom-pom if you can look after me. Forget the world that we live in now, because our, we're hardwired like our ancestors were hardwired. Or hardwired. So imagine 
We're hunter gatherers, yeah. They need the men to hunt, get the food, bring the food back home, and also to look after the kids. So she's saying, yo, if you make sure that we eat, if you make sure that we're protected, I'm gonna give you pom pom. That's what they're doing. So as a man, if you want to go out and mash other things, yeah, as long as she gets her food and she's protected, if man want to go slide and you get me, man Tarzan want to swing on the next Jane and that, bro, as long as you're looking after her and keeping her safe like you promised, Tarzan can swing in a next Jane's pom pom blood. It's not the end of the world. You know, like that. It's, it's not the end of the world. As soon as you stop protect, you stop protecting her for her next thing, and you run off and leave her. That's where the problems really, 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 really start. You know, like that. That's not how we show loyalty. Whereas on the other way, as a woman, yeah, if you decide to let a next man hit the pom pom, and then all of a sudden your belly's big, and I don't know if it's mine, there's a problem there. And this is why you have to make sure you don't let no one else hit it because I need to be sure that it's my kid. If I get you pregnant, I know it's my kid. If I get her pregnant, I know it's my kid. You can't say the same. If a girl are mashing multiple men, she don't know who the dad is. If I'm mashing multiple girl and none of them are mashing anyone else, I know I'm the dad of all these kids. It's the most simple way to put it. I'm not going to protect that bitch. I don't care. You're still giving her things that should only be for me. No. no. So let, what if a woman goes and has sex with another man? Then it's you're going to call same. her a hoe. No <laughs> he's horrible, isn't it? Like he's just triggering her. Like he's this is amazing. Like I said, he's trying to get sent off. He said you're a whore. He means it. He's trying to get bro, he's trying to get sent off. This is amazing work for Myron to be fair to him. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is what it is. Like I said, if I mash five different women and they're only having sex with me, yeah, I know that I'm the father to all five of them kids. If one woman fucks five guys, she doesn't know who the dad is. And this is why sexual exclusivity between men and women is not the same. That's one of many reasons. Exactly. But Because you don't have to earn that. Loyalty for a man is not sexual. Loyalty for us is being able to protect and provide for our woman. Being willing to put your life on the line for a female shows lo your loyalty as a man. A hundred percent. in the, uh, bruv, And she shouldn't want to be sharing her pum pum anyway. That's the thing with modern women. These feminists, yeah, bro, they... Bro, they get so much, they take so much pride in being whores, bro. Like, why are you proud of that? Why are you proud of being a whore, bro? Like, why are these girls so proud of letting man run through them now? Like, it's always been run through, it's always been frowned upon. You know, like that. Like, when you was growing up, did your mum have bare man running in and out of your house that weren't your dad? That's not healthy. You know, like that. Like, why do these women really want to be whores so badly? Like, what what is so appealing to them? I don't understand. Bear man running through you. Why do you want that? He's very insecure, and in that pain and trauma, insecure again. Trauma. He's tried to dissect the female female mind, and he has got it so so wrong. Is it easy for a woman to get sex? Is it easy for a woman to get sex? Yes. Of course it is. Is it easy for a man to get sex? Of course it is. No, it's not. Yes, it's hard. it is. It's way harder. I feel like you've had a really bad experience with getting women because I know so many people that can just have sex. Manda, she knows so many people that could just have sex, yeah? And she expects man to believe that she's not a hoe, but birds of a feather. I know that. So you just know bare gal that are out here freeing up their pum pum, but you're not one of them. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, you know what? Let's have fun with this if you think it's so easy. Go on. I'm the girl. How are you ever going to raise me up? Oh, a shit question. Yeah, it's a shit question because you ain't got nothing. Hey, this is beautiful for Myron. I'm not a man. I would never raise you up. I thought you said it was easy. Yeah, because I'm... I'm it's easy. Riz me I'm up. I'm not a man. I'm the girl. Riz me up. I don't know how to riz people up. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, I wasn't okay. here for that. Well, there you go. What did Myron say? As a woman, you just need to exist and you get men. This is why, as a man, yeah, getting women is more of an achievement. Women getting offered dick. Women get offered dick all the time. They don't even need to be good looking. They just got to have a vagina. That's it. That's the only thing you need to qualify. Myron just killed her.
He just killed her with that. See, guys, I told you, girls have no game. She failed with raising me up. Did he just ask me to raise him up? I think he's a bit gay. And now he's gay. Oh, my days. Another shaming tactic women use, yeah? They try and call you homosexual, yeah? They try and call you homosexual if, if you're not fucking with them. But the funny thing is, these are the same ones, yeah, that are advocating for the rainbow flag, you know? All of these, all of these feminists, yeah, they always want to show solidarity with the LGTVs, yeah? And then all of a sudden, as soon as they don't get their own way, they're out here calling man gay, you know? They all do it. They all do it. You're either gay or who hurt you or something, bro. Listen, she, yeah, I don't think she realizes how badly she's coming across, you know. She's coming across horribly. Myron is running rings around there, bro. She's having a skeletal performance, blood. This is what this is. Do you know what I mean? 11 dribbles, zero take-ons. Do you know what I mean? Zero jewels won, blood. She's having one of them skeletal games. That's why you wanted to act like a woman. I knew it. I called that one, guys. But Sorry. it is easy, isn't it? No. Bruv, listen, she's losing so bad, she's she's deluded. She start, she's trying to make herself laugh now because she's getting cooked. <laughs> Bro, she's trying to make herself laugh. Oh, it's yes, not. it is. You go on a date, you date a few, da, 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 what get does it to take know to the get person. A date? You just ask a girl on a date. Just, it's that easy. If you're what does it take to get a date? You just ask a girl on a date. No, that's not how it works. Women don't know how difficult it is as a man to get a girl to go out with them. Because the thing is, yeah, you'll think, yo, even if I chat to a dead thing, but bro, dead things still have options. So you might meet a girl and you might think, you know what? And bruv, like, listen, even in my life, it's happened bare times here. Yeah, I've met a girl and I thought, you know what? She's all right. I'm not really into her like that, but she's all right. She's flirting with me a little bit. I'll get her number. And then when you're chatting to her, she's being long. And I'm thinking, right, you're not even in my league, bro. And you're being long with me. But that's because this dead thing still got more options than me. Because like I said, I can't have sex with a girl that's out of my league. Girl have sex with men that are out of their league all the time. So I'm looking at her and thinking she's beneath me. But there's someone that's better than me that's still trying to mash her. The amount of times that things that things that ain't even really that nice over the years have given man a run around. And I thought, hold on, the audacity of this hoe. You know what I'm saying? But bro, this is what it is. You're going for high value you go women on a date and you're with every ugly. single guy. No, absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Would it be fair to say that you are very picky on who you go on dates with? Absolutely. Congratulations. You just proved my point. Point proven once again. I didn't say I would have sex with everyone. Yeah. I'm saying it's easy to have sex away from me, okay. not with me. Away from me. Yes, it See, is. You said you were special earlier, right? Yeah, I am. You just special. gave the answer that every other girl gives. I'm not that obtainable. Listen, he's a bad man, you know. Bro, Myron, yeah, is so good at this that he's bored. Look at his face. Listen to his tone of voice. He is bored. He is, bruv, this is crazy. He scored a hat trick here 10 minutes into the game, and now he's doing rainbow flicks, bruv. He's bored. She's sitting there right now. She knows she's getting cooked. Look at her body language. Look how she keeps touching her hair and stuff like that. She's uncomfortable. She knows she's getting fried. Okay. But you, Congratulations. you know a lot of women Every are. girl thinks like you do, even hoes. I don't care what he says or how much work he's putting in his calculations. He doesn't understand women. It's easy. For he doesn't understand more. She touched her hair again. Watch this. Hand gestures all over the place. She can't sit still. She's agitated. She's getting fried. For women to get sex, it's hard for men to get sex. If so you're ugly, you're, probably. Ugly as a man? Mm. Even even attractive guys struggle. That's a lie. That is a lie. There's dating you coaches out there. Again, the hand gestures the whole time. Bro, I have to go back here and watch some of the old ones again because I don't remember her hand gestures being so violent, yeah, in any other one. I don't remember her doing this. He's absolutely rattled her, you know. If you look at her feet, her legs shaking under the table, her hands are going, she's touching her hair a lot. Like, she's actually fuming, you know? Attractive man, yeah. you go to IB for a Marbella, somewhere like that. There's, there's How do I go to Marbella? Fly there. How do I fly there? 
on an airplane. How do I get on an airplane? You walk on it to it with your legs, mate. Oh, how do I get? How do I get the ticket? You buy one with your money. It's like oh, twenty quid for a okay, flight. And that, okay, and then, if you ain't got twenty quid for a flight to Marbella, sweetheart, you got more problems than oh, well, life from, than going from, to have from sex from Miami. It's way more expensive. And then Marbella, you think it's but cheap? You're to in live Miami. Is it cheap to be? Yes. But look at her feet. Look at her legs shaking under the table. Yeah. Look at her hands. She's rattled, bruv. Like this is crazy, man. Them. She's rattled. And she said, Marbella. Do you know how ex expensive Marbella is? The man them that go to Marbella are spending racks in Marbella and they're going for like two, three days and they're spending racks, bro. So if you're a good looking man and you go to Marbella, the chances are you've also got money to be in the clubs where all these gal are, these broke gal that are going to be in their eight pound pretty little thing um, swimsuits and you can be tanning them off, but you still got to have money. Thinks like you do, even hoes. I don't care what he says or how much work he's put in in his calculations, he doesn't understand women. Look it's at easy for look under sex. the table, it's look at her feet. Sex. If so you're ugly, ugly. Can her legs. Ugly as a man. Mm. Even even attractive guys struggle. That's a lie. That is a lie. Look at that. There's dating you coaches out there. attractive man. Look yeah. at her it's body my... language. She's gone. Oh my word. Be from Marbella, somewhere like that. This this. How do I go to Marbella? You fly there. How do I fly there? On an airplane. How do I get on an airplane? You walk onto it with your legs, mate. Oh, how do I get? How do I get the ticket? You buy one with your money. It's like oh, 20 quid for a okay, flight. And then, okay, and then, if you ain't got 20 quid for a flight to Marbella, sweetheart, you've got more problems than oh, well, life from, than going from, to have sex from in Marbella. From Miami, it's way more expensive. And then Marbella, you think... Because you're in Miami. Like, is it because it's a Marbella? city of hosts, she said. You're missing the big point of you have to have money, which isn't easy to acquire. Not if you live in Miami and you've got all them hoes around you. You don't need anything, do you? Walk down the street. You need... And now she's talking about Miami, bro. She, hey, bro, she's doing our Mari Forsen in preseason, bruv. We might have to get her out of there. 30 minutes into the game, might need to sub her off. Her head's gone, bruv. Look at her legs flying under the table, uh, touching her hair, arms going. Hey, bro, she's about to get sent off. It, it, to live in Miami is not cheap. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. But you've, you've obviously moved to Miami because you've established yourself in life. But I'm saying but if you already easy. naturally live there. That's not easy, though. Okay. That's not easy. I'm not, I'm not disregarding your, your, your journey in life of, of where, you've, where you've came from or any man's journey in life of, of building themselves up. Okay. But it is easy to obtain sex. As a good-looking man, you can walk up to a girl in a nightclub and nine times out of ten, if she's drunk enough, she's going home with you. I'm sorry, we no, live in a not. generation. If she's drunk enough, she's going with, home with you, yeah. And then she wakes up the next morning and decides it was a mistake. And then you're going to jail for R, even though you got consent at the time. What is she talking about? That's another thing women don't need to worry about. A man waking up the next morning and deciding, actually, I don't like, bro, actually, I feel ashamed of myself now. So she's going to jail. Because now, yeah, consent ain't even really consent, man, them. It's not really consent because you can get consent at the time and then it can be withdrawn at a later date. Because then she can say, actually, I was too drunk, which means, yeah, actually. I didn't give consent, even though at the time I did give consent, but I was drunk and now I woke up and I realized that I'm ashamed of myself. So now the consent's not valid anymore, bruv. So when she's talking about if you're drunk enough, bro, man, they ain't trying to sleep with drunk things because I'm not trying to go jail. What are you talking about? The amount of time she's brought up alcohol and getting girls in bed is crazy, you know? If a man was saying these things, yeah, there would be outrage if there was a man saying, oh, yeah, man, we just get her drunk and I just take her home. Mad. Where women open their legs for fun. Yes, they do. Yeah, girls are hoes, but you, you, you mistake that. Only a minority of men can actually pull this off. It's not easy to get girls at the club because you got to get table service, run game, all this mm -hmm. sort of bullshit. If yeah, you're a good-looking good man, it's not easy. And, and you most look men, good. And most women find most men is unattractive. Because most men are unattractive. Most men are unattractive now. Again, that's what she said. But then she was like, "There's loads of good-looking men that can get gal." Make up your mind, sweetheart. Okay, so um, so there we go. So since it's difficult, it is respected. But since it's easy for women to get laid, it is not respected. So me having multiple women, going back to the whole loyalty thing, that's where we started, Yeah, is way different yeah. than you going and having sex with another guy. Because I have I, to I earn understand my that ability point. to have yes, multiple women. I completely understand that You don't have to point. earn your ability but to have men. Just because you've earned it doesn't mean you need to go and showcase that whilst you're in a relationship. Just because you've earned it. All right, man, them. Just because you earn all that money... Doesn't mean you need to go out and buy those nice cars and these nice things and live in a nice house just because you've earned it.
Just keep it in the bank. Just keep it in the bank. Don't buy yourself anything nice. Don't do anything nice for yourself. Because why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? If you've earned it, fantastic. Go away and enjoy it. But just be single while you do it. Hold on. Why are your standards more important than mine? There's no such thing as no one's standards are more important. Yeah. Because... If your standard is that you want to sleep with multiple women. Yes. Have the best time. Be exactly. safe. You know, wrap it exactly. up. Because, you know. Because I have to earn that. But why should you, you be entitled that? to a six foot guy plus that makes money? Mm. How can I watch sorry? So you could demand a guy that's six foot that makes money. Yeah. But I can't demand multiple checks. You can demand whatever you like in this life. But stay single. This guy should just stay single. Yeah, but why? Why should he stay single, though? Why should he stay single? That doesn't make no sense. Because on the flip side, yeah, imagine he did stay single, yeah, and he decided that he wanted to have no girlfriend and have multiple baby moms, five different baby moms, and not be in a relationship. People would then look at him, yeah, and be like, yo, this bread's got five baby moms. He's not with none of them. And they would have something to say about that as well. Imagine if he had five baby moms, he weren't protecting or providing for none of them. And he just breeded up five things and was just giving them the bare minimum money. But then they'll frown upon a brother that's looking after his woman, yeah? Everything's fully paid for. They got their family. Kids are looked after, going to a good school. And every now and then he dabbles. But that's worse. Why is that worse? That don't even make no sense. Stay single while doing it. So that man's man can go breed up seven, eight women. Because he could do that with the money he's got. Pay for all of them. And then someone, people have something to say about that as well. You can't make these women happy, bro. So just make yourself happy. Her standards are more important than mine. And you guys should take this as a lesson. This is how women think. Their standards always override yours. Don't fall for the bullshit. Always put your standards first because you're the one that's got to put the work in first. Yes, Here's sir. the thing. If you're attractive enough, girls will accept you having other women. I don't know what women you're referring to, but if you can find that, then, you know, hats off. I already do. Well, well that's fantastic. They that's accept great. it. great. They accept it. I but have three girlfriends at one time. I don't know a time. woman, three girlfriends at one time. Yeah. Do they all know about each other? Yeah. Do you think they respected you? Yeah, they went to Disney World together. It was great. <laughs> Oi, Myron is the best. Man said they went to Disney World together. Oi, this guy's, uh, bro, he, bro, he's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, man just scored for, straight from kickoff, you know. Man said they went to Disney World. <laughs> nah, he just scored straight from kickoff. That was mad, bro. He is having too much fun, yeah, with this. He's having <laughs> too much fun. And you know, the mad thing is, yeah, he talks about having, yeah, he talks about having like his girl in it, his main thing, and she understands what time it is. And the thing is, yeah. Women, women are like they need, they kind of need social proof in it. The reason why women yeah find celebrities so fascinating is because they like they like guys that have cosigns from other women. And this is also why, man, them I've said before, yeah, you'll find it bare easy to sleep with girls that are friends with your ex. So easy. You know, like that, because you do your ex-girlfriends already co-signed you, bro. If you treated that girl well, yeah, if you treated that girl well, you laid the pipe sensationally, yeah, she'll go back and tell her bridgens. And then all her bridgens will slyly kind of always have half an eye on you, bro. You know, like, this is what girls are like, bro. It's all about social proof, you know. Once girl know someone that you've beat, yeah, and they know that you've done the mad thing, there's always a part of them that wants to kind of... See if it was true, blood. This is what gala like, bro. Like they almost need the cosign from other women or from society. So as a man, if you've got status and you've got a cosign from society or from your peers or from other gal, bro, it's a rap. It's a rap for you. That's just how it is. So her hundred percent, yeah. Like if gal know that you can get other gal. It makes you more attractive to them. It does. And it also is proof of you having good genes as well if loads of women want you. Because women want guys with good genetics to pass down to their children. It's very important for them. Proof of good genetics is when loads of women want you.
It's that simple. Do you think they respect you as a man? Absolutely. Because a woman that respects because her man they, because, isn't sharing her because, man with anybody. Oh, no, no, no. It's actually quite on the contrary. A woman that respects her man understands that this is what he wants. I respect him this much. I will accept That's it. That's delusional. No, it's actually very realistic. It's he not does delusional. not respect women at all. What do you mean he don't res he doesn't respect women? Like that's what I'm saying. Like, what is respect? Do you know what I mean? She's just arguing for the sake of arguing, bro. If a man said, yeah, for for example, if a man said, Yo, I love my wife, man's gonna pay for everything. I'm gonna look after her, look after the kids. I'm gonna make sure that I can give her a life that she could never have without me. I'm gonna be the perfect husband. From time to time, man's going to beat a thing. I'm going to do my best to make sure that she don't find out. I'm going to strap up so I don't, I don't bring no babies home and do any of these things, yeah? How can you turn around and say that man's disrespected his wife, bro? If my man was out here in these streets with another woman when everyone knows you're married, that's disrespected your wife. You know, like that. Imagine instead of taking your wife... To the red carpet, yeah, you roll up with the next thing instead of your wife and everyone knows you're married and your wife's at home and she finds out on Twitter that you took another woman. That's disrespecting your wife. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what are we talking about? It's like all this pride and ego thing, yeah, is going to have these women miserable forever, you know? And you know what the mad thing is about all of this, yeah? Secretly, Secretly, yeah, these gal don't really care if you cheat, bruv. They just don't want anyone else to know that you're cheating. Because I've said it a million times, gal will not leave you for cheating, bro. Gal won't leave you for cheating. The only time she'll leave you is if she was going to leave you anyway, yeah. Or she's got a better offer. And that better offer can include, if you're married, she's divorcing you and taking the money. Because then that's a better offer. Because then she can be a hoe and she can take your money. So they'll see that as a better offer. But things don't just leave you for cheating, bruv. Because you always see it in movies, yeah? Man them would cheat on his wife, yeah? They would cheat on his wife. And then the wife will be there and she'll be crying and say, Oh, did you love her? And, that. and he'll be like, No, nah, I didn't love her. Like, I only love you and that. She'll take him back. These girls always ask if you love her, you know. The reason why they want to know if you love her, she wants to know, were you thinking about leaving me for her? That's what the do you love her means, blood. Because they always ask, do you love her, bro? And if the answer's no, she's staying. Because she's like, but you don't love her. You ain't going to leave me for this hoe. Do you know what I'm saying? That's it. As long as you're not mashing down things in your in your in your bed that you share with your gal, do you know what I'm saying? If Myron wants to do what he's doing, that's fine. Get a hotel. If you start bringing random things, yeah, into the bed that you sleep with your gal, and then your gal find the next girl's hair in the bed, and that is disrespectful, bro. Do you know it's disrespectful, bruv? You know, like, <laughs> bro. And if you're gonna get caught cheating, let her work for it. You know, let her work for it. Don't get caught, yeah, because she found some receipts in your coat pocket or something, or she found a condom wrapper in your pocket or in your car, bruv. Like, bro, get caught properly. You know, like that. <laughs> like, bro, like, make her do the, the Sherlock Holmes thing. Don't let her catch you on, on an accident. You know, like that. She's just doing the Sunday clean in the house, and then all of a sudden she sees her hair that's not hers and that. Why are you bringing hoes to the house? You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. Man, then what are you doing? No. I would argue the woman that understands that she's with a guy that's successful, top of the, you know, top tier, etc. She understands that she has to share him. That's extremely pragmatic. The def the actually the opposite of delusional. Because most women are delusional. They say, Oh, I want a guy that's tall, charming, makes money, charismatic, in shape, strong. God, I need to get my notepad out. This guy won't shut up. And now she's just being rude for the sake of being rude, bro. She's getting schooled, yeah? And this is what happens. 
When people can't attack you at the points you're making, they start to attack you personally. There's so many signs that she's shown that she's losing this expeditiously. Entertaining, witty, all this other crap. Oh, man, there's not many of these guys there. Oh, I found one. Oh, I want him to be loyal to me. Yeah, but I that's think if you no, actually these, can... That's delusional. It comes mm -hmm. back to supply and demand. If you find a guy that's one out of a million, mm -hmm. right? And every other girl is looking for the same shit because you guys are. You guys are not as special as you guys say you are. Yeah. Now, what makes you think that guy's going to be loyal to you when he's he, ha he has the pick of the litter? He is the special one in this regard. I don't exactly. And this is the point. Scarcity, scarcity creates value. And if the men that these girls want, don't get me wrong. You go, you, if you want to get yourself an average man, and an average man, yeah, what people don't understand, an average man is somebody who has an average job. Not somebody that works in a city that makes 50K. You're not an average man. The average salary in the UK is about 26K. In London, it's just over 30K, bro. That's the average. That's the average. Do you know what I mean? So that means there are a lot of people that are making less than that. The reason why that's the average is because there's a lot of guys in London that are exceptionally high earners that boost the average. They boost the average because they're guys that are making 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, and they boost the average. So really, the average is probably around 25,000. So there's men that are delivery drivers. So men that are Uber drivers, men that do delivery. There's a lot of people that drive Ubers that make a lot of money. But there's also some people that do it part time. There's guys that do Deliveroo and Uber Eats and that, and Amazon delivery drivers and all these kind of guys. These are the guys that are, are making the average money, and also the, the people that work in coffee shops. And bro, these are the people that keep society going. Because bro, when I when I was start when I was working in a gym and I had my six o'clock client, I was in Cafe Nero at five forty five getting my double espresso because I couldn't flip and work without my coffee. You know, like that. So the average people that are making the average rate wages in London are the retail workers, the people that are driving the buses, these kind of people, bruv. And these gal ain't trying to marry these dons. They're not really trying to. So these gal are making average money or below average money. They're average looking. But they want the guys right at the top of the totem pole, yeah? But then they expect them to be exclusive to them. But what am I getting, yeah, for my exclusivity? Why am I looking off all the variety of things, bro? You know what I'm saying? Man got all these different flavors of ice cream. You get me? That's crazy. Man got the chocolate things. Man got the caramel things. You get me? Man got the vanilla things as well. It's crazy. Man got all the different flavors. Now I'm saying, man, even got the coconut cream and them things there. Man, got all the different flavors. And you want me to lock off all the different flavors for your average thing, bro. And you ain't even, bro, you don't even know no recipes. Your grandma never even gave you no recipes. Your mom didn't give you no recipes on that. You can't even make me a home cooked meal from scratch, not a proper thing. You don't even know how to slice onions, bruv. You know them gal there? You know when a gal can't even slice onions properly, blood? You see me, I'm judging, bro. If a girl take the wrong knife out the drawer, I'm judging, bruv. Why are you cutting the onion with that with that little bumble hole knife, bruv? Where's the proper knife to cut the onions and that? With the little chunky onions, you're cutting out the chunks and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm judging you. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I grew up watching my mum chefing up the place, bro. So when I see you pick up the wrong knife to cut the onion, straight away, bruv, you're disqualified. What are you doing? Do you know what I mean? So why am I going to look off all these other things, yeah? And you can't even stew man a chicken, bro. Do you know what I mean? That, 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 that's not going to run. And this is the problem. Certain girl can't even hold their knife on fork in the right hand, you know, and you want to have my children. What do you mean? Bro, man them. Have you got on a date with a girl and she got the knife on fork in the wrong hand, you know? Fam. Nah, that's crazy to me. What do you mean you got the knife and fork in the wrong hand, bruv? You have to pay for your own food now. This, this is what men are doing. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think you, you meet your match. And if, you've, if you ever met your match, you wouldn't go and have three girlfriends at once. Meet your match, bro. Man, them are not looking for equals, blood. So why would I ever meet my match in a woman?
Man are not looking for equals. We're looking for the supporting cast. We're looking for helpmates. We're not looking for equals. That's crazy. We're not looking for equals. So why would I meet my match? There is no match. And women are not looking for equals. They're looking for superiors. As a man, when you bring a woman into your life, yeah, she's a dependent. That's what she is because she depends on you for security. She does. Because if she goes out late, she's probably going to ring you and ask you to pick her up because it's the right thing to do because you're supposed to protect her. You're probably going to earn more money than her. Even if it's only a five grand, you're probably going to earn a bit more money than her. You're probably going to work harder than her because money's going to be more important to you. Your work ethic's going to be different. She's not looking for an equal, bruv. If you were equal to her, she wouldn't want you. So you can't meet your match as a man, bro. That doesn't make sense. And I don't agree that they would respect you. I think if you had... He's bored, blood. Look at his face. Hey, bro, this has killed me, you know. Nah, hey, Myron's taking the absolute piss out here, bruv. I'll be real. Look at this. What makes you think that guy's going to be loyal to you when he's he had he has the pick of the litter he is the special one in this regard i don't necessarily think that's true i Supply think you, you meet your match and if you <laughs> <laughs> nah bro look at his face he's like for fuck's sake bro mandem this is how i feel here this is how i feel yeah most most of the time when i'm arguing with women this is why i don't argue with them this is why i don't argue with them because I feel like they're just listening to respond, innit? In instead of listening to actually take in what I'm saying. And then I find myself making that face a lot, bruv. And then I just get mad. Do you know what I mean? He's done. He's done with this. Look at his face. He's just like, nah, this is crazy. If you ever met your match, you wouldn't go and have three girlfriends at once. And I don't agree that they would respect you. I think... <sighs> If you had any respect for women, which I know you don't, you don't, you don't value. I don't respect women. them as equal. You don't respect them as equal. If Definitely. you had any respect for them at all, I respect you them as humans. Have of course. Three girlfriends. Actually, I respect them more than most guys because I think they should be protected and provided for. Yeah. I don't think they should work. Yeah. But it's not, it's not. for me to have that mindset, I must understand that they're not equal. Every guy that's yep. attractive to women has this mindset. Like that's not true. That's a hundred percent true. That is a hundred percent true. Because as soon as you start treating women like they're equal to you, yeah, or above you, they always say treat her like a celebrity, she'll treat you like a fan, bro. Women don't respect men, yeah, that pedestalize them. They don't. That's why Marcel's girl cheated on him. You know, like that. When he's out here dancing and doing TikToks with his gal and all that, no gal don't respect no man dancing with them and doing TikToks. Because, bro, when your girl asks you to do a TikTok dance, you're supposed to look at her and say, what, what why for that, bruv? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what you're meant to do. As soon as you start doing TikTok dances with your girl and that, bro, she's not rating you no more. You know, like that. <laughs> she's not rating you no more. She's supposed to be going to her bridge and saying, oh, my man's grumpy and that. He never wants to do this with me and that. That's what, you, that's what she should be doing. Girl, rate that. Girl, rate when you're telling her, nah, allow that idiot thing. Go do that with your brethren, man. My man, man ain't on that. They don't respect when you just do what they ask all the time, bro. Because, bruv, once a girl here knows that she can just, just take the piss out of you, she's not attracted to you no more, bro. Like, girl shit tests man all the time. There's something in them, yeah, that makes them want to keep pushing you to see how far they can push you until you tell them no more. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but there's something in women that keep saying, yo, like, let me keep, like, prodding him just to see, like, how much I can prod this guy before you just, like, get pissed off. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, bro, this is what they do. <laughs> this is what they do. I don't know why they do it. Kids do it as well. They're like kids. You know when kids, you'll be, you'll be sitting there and a kid will just put their foot in your face. And I'll be like, bro, I'll punch this three-year-old. Like, women are like that. Women just will try and wind you up, like, just to say dumb things, like, again and again, just to see how, if they can annoy you, bruv. I don't know why, but they do that.
And if you keep letting them get away with it, they don't respect you, bro. They almost rate you more when you say, yo, shut up, stop doing that, man. I don't know why it is. I just know it's a fact. I don't know why. I just know it's a fact, bro. It happens too often, bro. The most attractive men were all sexist. All of us. Because there's being sexist and there's being completely disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. I respect that women here yeah, are completely different to us and I treat them as such. Women think here yeah, that being respectful to them here yeah, is treating them as equal. But then they request chivalry. But chivalry is a clear um, acceptance that we are not equal. So what I'm basically saying is that these women are extremely contradictory because that's exactly what they are. Because when you treat them as equal, they get upset. Like what I said in a workplace, if you if you speak to a woman the same way you would speak to as a speak to a man, they'll start crying. Because men speak to men like shit. We speak to each other like shit. But we speak to each other like shit in a respectful way, but it's not respectful, but it's respectful. You know, like that. <laughs> if we speak to women the way we speak to men, bro, they would cry, bruv. The amount of times men are chatting shit and we say to man, yo, you're chatting shit, bruv. Like, bro, you man have seen me, yeah? All the man them, we're on the football show. When a man's chatting shit, we're cooking them. We're flaming them. If a man says something, we're saying, bro, you're chatting shit. And it's not even in a disrespectful way. We just, we just, we communicate very directly with each other. If you're chatting to a woman, yeah, and, and you just said to her, yo, you're chatting shit. She'll get upset, bro. <laughs> She'll get upset. I swear to you. The way we speak to each other when we're speaking about football, if you spoke to a girl like that, they would, bro, they would flip out. <laughs> like, immediately. They'll think, right, he don't like me. Why is he speaking to me like this? Because women are used to men acknowledging that they're women and adjusting their tone. And when we don't adjust their, we don't adjust our tone with them, yeah, they think that we hate them. But that's just how we communicate. We, we communicate very directly and very bluntly. And sometimes it can come across rude. But that's just how we communicate. That's it. 